mastering technical skills and doing projects, not just conceptual stuff. So unlike software engineering where platforms like Leak Code or HackerRank dominate, cybersecurity internships involve a broader set of skills when it comes to interviewing as well as doing the job. You can actually expect assessments that require log analysis, scripting, some basic malware analysis, deobfuscation, and even solving CTF style challenges. In these cases, it would not be about knowing what the CIA triad is, it would be about your ability to think like a defender, a builder, or an attacker. So if you're in college right now, start preparing immediately. Don't wait until you're actively applying for internships because these skills take time to develop. You should be spending time on platforms like Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, Let's Defend, Cyber Defenders, Blue Team Labs Online, and even engaging in real CTF events on sites like Pico CTF or whatever CTF events you're available to join. And if you'd like to join our CTF team, we've got one in our Discord. Join the Discord linked in the description below. Ultimately, each platform will expose you to practical scenarios that are more reflective of what you might face in the field and also might expect in interviews. For example, for a lot of my interviews, including my current and previous roles, I was required to demonstrate my ability to either analyze some security logs or write a Python script or threat model a crowd environment or hypothesize a detection idea or a threat hunt. So many other practical scenarios there that are very possible for interviews as well as what you'll be doing in the job. This is something I could learn overnight and thankfully I had already had some experience with Splunk and other sim tools for a while so these came a little bit easier for me. And that's what you need to aim for. Proficiency that is built over time not crammed over a short weekend. Focus on the core skills. This is where the Pareto principle also known as the 80-20 rule comes in. This is the idea Idea that 80% of outcomes are the result of 20% of causes. This is a widely used principle in many fields, including business, economics, and problem solving. But I'd like to apply it for cybersecurity, in this case, your job application, job search, and skill building process. So for you, as a cybersecurity candidate looking for an internship, this will mean prioritizing essential skills like network security, network analysis, scripting, specifically Python, Bash, or PowerShell, understanding basic penetration testing and attacks, and log analysis. Again, there are several platforms with structured labs and courses I can guide your learning, but you have to be strategic with what you're learning. So to help you with this, I already made a video on all the amazing cybersecurity training and lab platforms out there. So if you're looking for something, it will most likely be there. Check it out. It will be linked in the description as well as a card somewhere on the screen. So if you're not proficient at some of the basic things, make it a priority to get hands-on experience. I actually made a tweet about this recently and listen up, especially since most of you will be college students. This is what it says. You and only you are responsible for your education, not school, not your professor, not your mentor, not your course advisor, not your manager, not your parent. You blaming your lack of education on someone else is lazy and disrespectful to the free body of knowledge available today.